We want to solve the system 3x plus y minus 2z equals 3, x minus 2y plus 3z equals 10, 4x minus 8y plus 5z equals 5. So what that means is we want to find an ordered triple x, y, z that satisfies all three equations. It's possible. It's not always possible. But we'll, regardless, we will try, okay? So what we want to do is eliminate a variable. You're gonna pick whichever variable you think is easiest to eliminate. And it doesn't really matter which, which one, but uh, in this particular case, for this problem, I think we want to eliminate y. So it's important that we write down what, what we're trying to do. Now that we've decided on eliminating y, what we have to do is, you know, take the steps to make that happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine these equations in such a way that the coefficients of y become equal but opposite. So notice that if I multiply equation 1 by 2, the coefficients of y will be 2 and negative 2, and that's good. So one thing we're going to do is 2 times equation 1 plus equation 2. Well, 2 times equation 1 is... 6x plus 2y minus 4z equals 6. Notice that I'm multiplying both sides of equation 1 by 2. Now we're just adding equation 2. So I'm just going to copy down equation 2. Equation 2, again, is x minus 2y plus 3z equals 10. Now when I add these two equations, notice what happens. The y's go away, and that was kind of the whole point of this. 6x plus x is 7x, 2y minus 2y is 0y, which is 0. Negative 4z plus 3z is minus z. So we have 7x minus z equals 6 plus 10 which is 16. So here's one equation involving x and z. But now I need to also somehow incorporate equation 3. So notice that, again, I want, I want the coefficients of y to be equal but opposite. So if I multiply equation 2 by negative 4, that will get the, the coefficients of y to be 8 and negative 8. So what we'll do is this. So we've already done 2 times equation 1 plus 2 times equation 2. Now we have to do negative 4 times equation 2 plus equation 3. Negative 4 times equation 2 is negative 4x plus 8y minus 12z equals negative 4. And again, I'm adding equation 3. Go back to your original equation 3. Just copy it down. 4x minus 8y plus 5z equals 5. Four x minus eight y plus five z equals five. So notice that the y's go away. That was the whole point. But also notice that we're kind of lucky in, in this problem in that 
the x's are also going away. They're being eliminated from these two equations. So what we have now is negative 12z plus 5z, which is negative 7z. Negative 7z equals negative 40 plus 5, which is negative 35. So right now we can find z by dividing this equation by both sides of this equation by negative 7. So this leads to z equals 5. And that's good, but, but we're not done yet. We need, to, we need to now find y and x. We know now that z is equal to 5. That's good. But if you go back to this equation right here involving just x and z, if z is equal to 5, what does that give us? That gives us 7x equals 21. Right? If z is equal to 5, this is 7x minus 5 is equal to 16. So 7x is equal to 16 plus 5, which is 21. So x is equal to 3. So now I still need to find y, but then I'll be done. So go back to one of your previous equations. Right now, we know that z is 5 and x is 3. So we know now that z is 5, x is 3. So you can plug in x is equal to 3 and z is equal to 5 into any of these three equations, pick whichever is easiest to work with. We could use the first equation. Okay, so x is 3. All right, so, so from equation 1, what we have now is this 3x is 9. We're trying to find y minus 2z well, z is 5, so we get minus 10 equals 3. 9 minus 10 is negative 1, so y minus 1 is equal to 3. Well, that's going to give us y is equal to 4. So we have our values of x, y, and z. And what we normally do is, is write our answer as an order triple. So the order triple that satisfies this equation is 3, 4, 5. So in other words, we're saying x is 3, y is 4, and z is 5. So if you plug in 3, 4, 5 into all three equations, you get a true statement. That's, that's test at least one of these. So if x is 3, well, 3 times 3 is 9. If y is 4, we have 9 plus 4, which is 13. z is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 13 minus 10 is 3. So, so the first equation works, and the second and third will also work. You can, you can test them.